Hey, this is Amy from notmoira.etsy.com and I wanted to share some things I made with you guys. Um, I am an old woman when it comes to decorating for holidays and such. Yeah, like I get pretty festive. And Easter is coming up. And last year, um, I made myself an Easter egg wreath to go on my door, and I loved it. So um, after Easter, I hit all the clearance and bought um, 14 bags of <laughs> plastic Easter eggs because I wanted to make a bunch of crafts with them this year, you know, when they're only like a quarter a bag. Yeah. So um, I was going to share the stuff I made. And here is the beloved Easter egg wreath because I love it. So um, what I did was I got a wreath form from Hobby Lobby and it was one of the little straw ones and I just wrapped it in this uh, lime green ribbon and then I got the hot glue gun out and I glued all these Easter eggs all over it and it's super cute on my door. So um, super cute. So this year um, like the past couple of years, the little cone trees have become popular like at Christmas and stuff. Um, the ones with little ornaments and stuff on them. So I thought it would be fun to make an Easter egg cone tree. So this was my new project that I did a couple of days ago. Um, so I went to Hobby Lobby and bought one of those styrofoam um, cone form things. And went for it and check it out. Easter egg tree. And um, I have a little buffet over here. I'm in my kitchen. So I put it there and it hangs out beside my um, Easter chick salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, I, th I thought it was pretty cool. I got a green one somewhere. There are little graps, it, it, graps, gaps. At least there's green in there, you know. So it's not, you know, at least it's not orange or something like that. At least it's kind of festive because it's supposed to be in the grass anyway. So, um, anyway, that's all my Easter crafts for now. So, thanks for watching.